Good morning everybody. The Lord be with you. And welcome to our Hippopray Day. I have my Hippopray balloon as you can see. Hmm, I wonder what we could do with that in a little bit. Oh, right. I am now, while you mull that over, going to hand over to our ethos group who are going to light our candle. Dear God, as we light our candle today, let us think about all the life and new animals and new plants coming out for the spring. Amen. Thank you so much to our ethos group. A beautiful lighting of our candle this morning with some real beautiful reflection in there as well. So let's start our morning with a hymn. I'm now going to hand over for our hymn introduction. Hi everybody, today's hymn is Easter Jubilation. A beautiful hymn to start off a beautiful day. I mean, what more could we ask for? We've got Easter eggs behind me. We've got hip hip hooray balloon. We've got some gorgeous tulips. The sun is shining and today is a Wednesday. Now, that's a bit strange, isn't it? Because our celebration worship is usually on a Friday. However, it's the last day of term, guys. So we've got a few things going on. We're going to find out in a minute who are stars of the term. I know. Then we have got our raffle prizes, which will be announced. And of course, it had to be an Easter theme. So we've got an Easter egg for every class, for the class winner of the raffle prize. So we've got a busy morning ahead. So shall we find out who our Stars of the Spring Terma. Over to you, Miss Nicholas. Good morning, everybody. Happy end of term, happy Easter. And I'm so happy to be back to announce the star of the term. I really couldn't miss it. The star of the term in Hedgehog class is 
Lily, well done Lily. Lily is an absolute superstar every single day. The, one of the reasons that she is our star of the term is her fantastic attitude to learning. Lily listens so carefully to everything the adults say in reception and then she follows our instructions perfectly. Her independent work is amazing. She's showing us already how she's well on her way to be ready for year one. She's taking on board what we say and putting it into practice in her work. Her progress this term has been phenomenal. But on top of that, Lily is such a good friend, such a kind little girl. She puts 100% effort into absolutely everything we do in every single lesson. And she's a total pleasure to teach. So well done, Lily. You really do deserve to be our hedgehog star of the term. Good morning, everyone, and happy last day of this term. Well done on getting through the last few months. You've all worked so incredibly hard. So our dormice star of the term goes to our Harry. Harry, I have a list as long as my arm for the many reasons why you have shone, not only this term, but since you started school in September. Your kindness, your loyalty, your friendship, your love of learning and your hardworking nature are to name but a few. You have made so much progress over the curriculum areas, whether that be your reading, your writing, your maths, you are always pushing yourself to reach new heights in your learning and we love to see this every day. But the main reason why I've chosen you as our star of this term is because of your confidence. I have seen such a transformation in your confidence, Harry. You really do deserve every bit of praise you get because I don't think you realise how fantastic you really are. Well done. I just want to say thank you for all your hard work this term. You really have been such a superstar. Keep letting your light shine. Well done, everyone. See you soon and have a lovely Easter holiday. Good morning, everybody. Our start of the term, this term in Osprey class, is somebody who has been working incredibly hard for the whole term. Throughout lockdown, when we're doing our home learning, they submitted absolutely fantastic work and the progress they made even at home was incredible then they've come back to school and had such a positive attitude they have been that friendly face around the classroom raising everyone's spirits and are just a true all-rounder with absolutely all strings to their bow they engage in everything we do and they are absolutely fantastic day in day out our star of the term is katie well done, Katie. Katie, you truly deserve to be Osprey Star of the Term. Your smile lights up the room, your enthusiasm and energy for life, and your commitment to just be better and better and better every day. And above all of that, you're a great friend. You're a great friend to everybody who needs you around school. So well done to you. Keep up that fantastic attitude. Hello everyone, happy Wednesday and welcome to our star of the term for Goshawks. So, my star this term has to go to Miss Amelia Aura. Yes, well done Amelia. Um, it was a unanimous decision between me and Mrs O'Dwyer. Um, the first thing that we re notice every single day is the infectious energy that you bring at the start as soon as you walk into that classroom. Um, you always have a positive attitude um, and you always are a bundle of joy and happiness as you come in at the start of the day. Um, we also noticed, um, even as you do in class, but the tremendous effort that you put into your work, whether it's in class or during your period um, uh, whilst you were home learning, um, your presentation, your care that you take in everything that you do. And sometimes it's not always straightforward, it's not always necessarily easy for you, but your determination um, to ensure that you get everything um, spot on is wonderful. Also, you are a fantastic friend to um, the children in the class, to your peers, and you show a huge amount of kindness as well to everyone, um, and we appreciate that. So well done. Well done on a fantastic effort this term, and well done everybody else as well. You all deserve a lovely um, Easter break, and I will see you again um, when we come back. Bye. Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. 
our star of the term for rabbits class is Lucy. Well done, Lucy. Lucy is someone who lets her light shine every single day, no matter what. She comes to school with the biggest smile and a really positive attitude towards her learning. She has an unquenchable curiosity towards her learning and her enthusiasm and sincerity always makes me and Mrs Gopinath smile and her writing is a joy to read. Lucy's a fantastic role model for Rabbit's class. She has beautiful manners, she always listens, she always gives 100% and she's a really kind and thoughtful friend as well. Really big well done Lucy, we're so proud of you and keep letting your light shine. Good morning everyone, happy Friday and a happy Easter as well. Gives me great pleasure to announce our star of the term in Otter's class. And this term, our star is Alice Butwilowska. Well done, Alice. We are so, so proud of you. Your positivity, your warmth and your enthusiasm just shines every single day. You throw yourself into whatever you are asked to do. You always do your best. You are conscientious and a kind, kind friend. Everyone in class adores you and we are super proud of how you have just blossomed this year. Big well done, Alice. Well done. Morning everybody, it's Mr Lawrence here to announce his star of the term and what a term it has been. Congratulations to all of you, both pupils and teachers for getting through this strangest of terms. Really well done. So my star of the term, well before I say who my star of the term is, here's some of the reasons why. Now this person was working at home during our home learning after Christmas time and did an absolutely amazing job. The standard of their work was the same every single day and it was of a very, very high standard. And since they've come back to school as well, they have hit the ground running. They have continued to impress me with their maths, with their English and across the board. This person is always putting 110% effort into every lesson is really really well behaved is a really enthusiastic and important member of the rotor kids club and they have had an amazing term and they really really deserve it so my star of the spring term is serena well done serena you really really deserve it for all the reasons i've just given i'm very very proud of you for all the work you did at home and to continue at, the, at such a high standard from home whilst coming back into school over these last couple of weeks has been an outstanding thing to see. So really well done, you really deserve it and on, congratulations on a brilliant spring term. Well done and see you later everyone. Good morning everybody. Well our Foxglove star of the term is Ellis. Ellis you really are a star every single week of the term. Your enthusiasm and commitment and your attitude to learning is just superb. You are really happy to share your fantastic ideas with the class. You always participate really well in discussions and then you're really focused on your work and you always give your best and do your best presentation. But the other thing about you is that you are what we would call a really good citizen. That means that your own behaviour is exemplary but also it's about how you are with the other children in school and in our class. You are a friend to everyone. You play well with other children. You look out for those who are not part of the game and you make sure that they join in and that they're having a good time too. And you also work really well with anyone in our class. And it was really exemplified as well just last week when we were doing some partner work and you really worked hard to make sure that you and your partner had that same level of work, that you were sharing ideas. And what we saw was your incredible kindness and a really mature attitude. So, you are star of the term, you are a star, you give us everything we ask, and sometimes even a little bit more. Well done. Hello everyone. I hope you have a fabulous hip hip hooray day at school and I really hope that you will have a great Easter break. You will really, really deserve it. 
Okay, so I've got the privilege to announce who is Snowdrop's star of the term. It's been a really tricky choice because there's been so many people up in the running for this, but as a collective we have made a decision that Max Kennedy is our star of the term. Max has come back to school after this last lockdown with such a fantastic positive attitude. He's been super confident, he's been putting his hand up in class, he's been getting on with his work, he's been showing great friendships outside on the playground and overall he's just been an absolute shining star in our class. Make sure Max that you come back again after Easter still this confident young man and show everybody how to let their light shine. Hello, good morning everyone. So, star of the term in Bluebell class this term is... Amelia. Well done Amelia, excellent work this term. Since joining us in Tartley, you have shown that you've got an incredible attitude towards school. You do your best in every single subject. And you do that anyway. You've shown that in your home learning as well, all the way through lockdown. But what's been really impressive to see is just the increase in confidence and resilience that you now have. You know, you're able to take on feedback that we give to you and you use that to make yourself better and to make your work better every single time. You listen, you take on board and then you act on it. It's fantastic for us to see in school. Also, you are a wonderful friend. It is clear why you have made such good friends since being at Tarpley. You're very kind and you're also very funny with your friends. Well done, Amelia. You are very, very well deserving of this term's star of the term for Bluebell class. Happy Easter, everyone. You should be so proud of yourselves. We are all proud of you and you have done amazingly well in what's been a really tough term. It's been quite bizarre when you think about it and honestly, you sh every single one of you should be proud of what you've achieved. So well done. Right, if you have a half sticker book, would you like to stand up in your class now? Give them a clap. Well done, halfway there, guys. And now it's well done to our fantastic full sticker books. a great achievement at the end of this spring term. Ah, oh, I tell you, it just fills us with the joys of spring. So, shall we see who's in our golden book? There's a few. I have Mr Gilbody and Mr Martin and all of our wonderful cleaners for keeping our school clean and safe for everyone. I have Mrs Debbie Woods and Mrs Hayley Lewis for your amazing Easter worship. Ah, oh, Mrs. Word six Easter eggs all in one go. Honestly, I have all of our superb middays for keeping children happy and safe at lunch times. I have all the office staff for keeping our school running so smoothly. I have all of the treehouse staff for keeping our children happy and safe before and after school. I have Mr Lomas and Mr Morris for their fantastic PE lessons. I have Hugo Hodgkinson for his repeated patterns, Reuben Jackson for his brilliant reading, Johnny Scaife for his maths and Lucas Jones for his maths, Sophie, Ruby, Poppy, Noah and Max for your persuasive leaflet writing for visiting the Jardin des Plantes in Paris. I have Mrs Lyne and Miss Stanton for being so hard working and always putting the children first. Just being truly amazing. I have Emily for your resilience and confidence with your maths. I have Philip, Eleanor, Nia and Bobby for your care and detail that you put into your artwork. I have Mr Girlbody again. I 
and Mrs Forrester. It's always weird when someone puts me in. And Mr Goldbody and I are in the Golden Book because we passed our health and safety course. Yes, Mr Goldbody and I had to attend 24 hours of online health and safety training. And then we had to do our exam at the end and a project. And I'm delighted to say that we both passed. So don't worry, the school is healthy and the school is safe. We'll make sure. I have Harry Butlerowski for being a great friend. I have George Wesson, Megan Armstrong and Josh Williams. So George and Megan, that's for your landfill writing and Josh is for your arithmetic. I have Alice Butlerowska for her sunny disposition, her kindness, her determination and for being such a caring friend. I have Alexander Winder for working hard and his positivity. I have Reuben Cook for working hard, being positive and being such a kind friend. I have Ben O'Hara Clark for fantastic effort in your maths work with your quarters. I have Mia Spratt for always working hard, good listening and lovely presentation in all of her books. I have Joe Harris for his great concentration and lovely ideas in his English. Noah Baldwin for his excellent phonics. Abby for your great presentation with your landfill text. And Carlos for excellent use of mastery keys in your landfill text. I have Connor Theory for your great attitude to learning. Theodora Knight for making all of the rabbits smile. Esme Sharma for your fantastic kinetic letters. Isla Rose for your fantastic independent writing. Logan Lappin for your amazing phonics. Ella Brown, Amelia Perry, Ollie Redman, Darcy McGurk, Isla Hadley and Penny Ash for your amazing number bonds. And finally, I have Sebby Forrester. Aha, uh -huh. yes, Sebby, it's you for your kindness in helping others. What wonderful reasons our Golden Book people are in. So well done, everybody. And thank you for everything you've done this term. It's been so wonderful to have you back in school. I know you're all worn out. I know you're all ready for a rest. Make sure you have that rest over Easter recharge your batteries and get ready for that wonderful summer term that we're all going to have together. And remember, always, always keep on reading. You know, I always say it, don't I? Mm, I wonder if anyone will do some extreme reads. Send us some photos if you do an extreme read over Easter and we'll be able to pop it onto our Twitter account. Okay, so... I'm now going to hand over to our Parliament because we're going to find out how the teams have done, but also who's won the House Shield. Ooh, let's go and find out. So exciting. So welcome to the last week of Parliament Leeds. We have the Leeds today and we have our Evie representing Peck for Term. Hi. 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 So, it is the Easter holidays today, and it's also Hip Hip Hooray Day. Isn't that exciting, everyone? Um, yeah. Yes, yes, very much so. So you get two weeks, two and a half weeks off. No. Yeah. So, and to celebrate the Easter ending, we have the results. So, fourth place is Beeston with 432 points third place goes to Eckerton with 506 points second place goes to Chumley with 539 points which means first place is Chester with 561 points and finally, this is the moment you've been waiting for. Who will win the Easter House Shield? Here we go. Fourth place. At the end of the term, the results are here. Fourth place goes to... 
Well, you've watched the videos and they mostly came last. It's Peckerton, <laughs> sadly. For six souls. Third place goes to... Beeston with nine, nine shields. shields. Second place goes to... Which means Chumley is the winner with 13 shields! So I hope you have a great half term, everybody. Or four term, two weeks. And if you have any questions and suggestions, let them tell your teachers. And also, should we have some words of encouragement, I think? For yes. next term? Next term encouragement. Who wants to go first? Stevie? Please put your house points on. Casey? Um, well done, you put your house points out and you tried really hard in school obviously, so yeah, keep it up. Next term, our final term, we will win. We tried our hardest, um, it's uh, it's all that I could I could have asked for. Um, it's my birthday and we got, we got, well the first week, last week we got, um, uh, we got first in the house points, but, and we still came really close with the shields, so well done. So it's that time that we all love. In the spirit of Dale Winton, if you don't know who Dale Winton is, then just get your parents to find a little clip of when he did. You've got to be in it to win it. <laughs> and <laughs> you'll realise why we do this. So Dale, this is for you. Always in our hearts, Dale. So I'm going to hand over to your teachers to find out who our raffle prize winners are. <laughs> Exciting. Okay, let's see who's been in it to win it in Hedgehog class. I'll give them a big twirl around. And the winner is, I'll look away. Let me see, it is Edward. Congratulations, Edward. Well done. Good morning, everyone. So let's see who's been in it to win it. Ready? Drum roll, please. And our door mice winner is Serin. Well done, Serin. Congratulations. Hello everyone, it's time to choose Rabbit Class's raffle ticket winner. And our winner is Henry. Well done, Henry. Good morning, everyone. Time to pull out the raffle ticket. We've got a really, really full raffle ticket box, which is excellent news. Let's see who our lucky winner is. And it is Tom. Congratulations, Tom! Hooray! Well done, Tom! I'm so pleased to announce that in Snowdrops, our raffle prize winner is Willow Rimmer. Well done, Willow. That's really, really well deserved. You are always a great friend to others at playtimes and at lunchtimes and in the classroom as well. And you always, always make sure you're listening, following the instructions, so I'm not surprised at all that your name has been in our raffle box. Well done, keep up the good work and enjoy your prize. Good morning everyone. So raffle ticket draw for Bluebell class for spring term is... Ticket number 101 belonging to Amelia. Well done, Amelia. Our Foxglove Raffle Prize winner is Henry. Congratulations. Hey everybody, it's Mr. Lawrence here to do the Kestrel Raffle Prize. So let's have a look in here and let's get it drawn, shall we? Okay, I've got this one. Let's have a look, see. And it says Fred. Well done, Fred. You win the raffle for Kestrel Class for spring term. Congratulations. 
Hello everyone and welcome to our Goss Hawks um, raffle ticket draw. Um, so as we always say, you've got to be in it to win it. So as we have in Goss Hawks, we have um, Bernie Bassett here um, and this is where we keep our raffle tickets. So be really careful with his head. I'm going to take his head off and I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to, now well done to all those people that have got their name in here, considering we've not been back in school for a huge amount of time. There are quite a few in here. So I'm going to reveal, let me just put the rest of his body down. Um, so our winner of the raffle prize for this term goes to number 491. Oh, well done. Congratulations to Max, fantastic. Well done, Max. Well deserved. Good morning, everybody, and here is the Osprey raffle ticket draw. Good luck to all you people who are in here. It's so heavy with raffle tickets. Miss Sims is doing the honours. Off you go. Oh, there's tons. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Who's it going to be? Oh, Daniel. Well done to all of our raffle prize winners. Remember, guys, if you want a chance of winning, get your raffle tickets. You can get them for your good behaviour, for your good choices, for all those things you do at playtime and lunchtime, and that being a good friend. And if you're in the raffle box, then you're in with a chance, because remember, you've got to be in it to win it! <laughs> Oh, congratulations. Well deserved. Thank you so much to our Parliament, both our Leeds and our Vices. Absolutely fantastic. I'm so proud of all of you for your dedication and your commitment to doing this every week. What more could I ask for? So I'm now going to hand over to our ethos group who are going to lead us in our prayer. Thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for us. Thank you for all the new life that he has brought. Thank you for all the plants and animals that have started to sprout. And let us think the tr of the true meaning of Easter when we eat our Easter eggs. Amen. 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 Now we say together the prayer our son Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now Sky will blow out the candle. Thank you, Ethos Group. What a beautiful ending to our final celebration worship of the spring term. I hope you all have a lovely Easter. The rules have changed, so we're now allowed to meet people in their gardens. We're now allowed to go out with six people. Is that six all together? I'm sure I think it's six all together. So five people enjoy spending more time with family and friends. Enjoy Easter. Remember, when you do open up your egg, make sure that you remember the real reason for Easter. Take a moment to reflect and then show that kindness to your family and your friends and enjoy being together. And I look forward to seeing all of you for the summer term. Bye everyone, have a great two weeks. Mwah! Told you we'd be back.
Thank you for that, Mrs. Taylor. I'm going to go and sort out my office now. You're very welcome, Mrs. Forrester. See you Have later. Fun. Oh, what a lovely assembly. Right. <gasps> what? What? I think I know who's done this. It's those dratted takeover kids. <gasps> my candle. It's going to take me all Easter to sort it out. Oh, 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 oh.